Hey everyone, I hope you all had such a wonderful, nourishing uh, weekend. I um, had such a wonderful spiritual discussion yesterday and I thought I would share it because so much of it stayed in my mind and um, I really think it was so useful to me, so I hope it's useful to you too. Um, we were discussing um, how, you know, a lot of times, and me, I can relate to this so much, we find connecting to a spiritual journey or spiritual activity is quite difficult. Um, you can get really excited about it at first and then it kind of withers away. And um, actually we were talking about how um, when we are still attracted to so many different material enjoyments, those things that bring us that temporary happiness that we're so used to going back to to get us that fix of happiness and joy that we think we need and that we think we want. Um, we, the more we end up turning to that over our spiritual practices that may not bring us that same amount of joy to start with, but we know has the long-term effects that we need, the less enjoyment we're going to get out of our spiritual practices. So let me break that down again. So it's almost like being in a relationship. The more that you're looking around at other people, the more that you are searching for um, love in other places apart from your relationship, the less sweetness and the less love that will actually form between you and your partner. Because naturally, if your mind is split between two things or five things or six things or seven things, you're not going to feel that you are spreading your love thinly through so many different ways. And in the same way, if our attention for joy, our thirst for joy is going into so many different places, then actually when we end up getting to our spiritual practices, it's only going to give us what we give in. And um, there was uh, someone asked a question yesterday that was to do with, you know, well, how do I completely stop all those things that I know I shouldn't be doing that I know just give me temporary happiness, but um, I just can't, I can't stop it. Do I just cut it out completely? And actually we shouldn't because actually the first step towards being able to reduce something towards being able to maintain a habit that we want to um that we want to keep is regulation um and jay actually said this yesterday he said regulation is the path to renunciation regulation is the path to being able to give up those things that we don't need and regulation means whether it's let's give an example of food if we feel like we are indulging in chocolate too much, then naturally, instead of saying, I'm just going to go cold turkey, I'm not having chocolate at all and ever again, most likely we're going to fall back into the same routine at some point. But if we say, okay, fine, I'm going to give myself chocolate two days a week, that regulation allows us to control our senses. And so naturally, everything that we are trying to do, we are just trying to regulate to start with. Just try and regulate. Don't think of cutting anything out. Don't be like, it's all or nothing. Try and regulate yourself because that actually takes, that, that actually starts the process of controlling your mind, starts the process of um, controlling your senses. And actually in the Bhagavad Gita and in a lot of the texts, it actually speaks about how we think all those things that we were initially craving, all those things that we were initially finding joy in, all those material things, we actually just lose taste for them. We lose our, our desire to even indulge in them. We lose that enjoyment that we first initially felt because we have experienced a higher sense of enjoyment a higher sense of um of taste uh, is how it's described and so it's almost like saying if you've tasted a really really sweet orange it's going to be sweet until you then end up tasting the sweetest orange in the whole entire world and then you're like oh this is actually what oranges are supposed to taste like. And so in the same way, it's like we only know the enjoyment that we expose ourselves to. We only know our temporary material enjoyments because that's what's familiar to us. But as soon as we step up our consciousness, as soon as we indulge in the spiritual enjoyment, all those other things slowly end up just falling away. They end up feeling they don't quench our thirst in the same way anymore. And so um, what I really took away from that was forget about focusing on all the negative things that you're doing and how you're going to stop them. Focus on um, falling in love with those spiritual practices. Focus on uh, connecting deeper to God and to those, um, to the your meditation, to, whether it's reading, whether it's listening, whether it's um, hearing spiritual things. Connect, uh, start thinking more about that and forget about thinking about how you're going to stop these things because naturally as you attach to something else, you will slowly detach from those things anyway um and i just thought that was so amazing it's like it, and, and i just think it's so true and i can reflect back on my own life and think about 
when I was so desperately trying to stop the things that I knew were, were hurdles in my spiritual life, that I knew were causing boundaries for me to attach to spiritual practices. Um, and I was focusing so much on that that I was forgetting actually all I need to do is fall in love with the other practices, fall in love with the process of spirituality and, and focus deeper in my chanting, focus deeper in my meditations focus deeper in what I'm reading to really affect my heart. And then slowly as my heart is, is, um, cleansed of all those things naturally i'm not attracted to the other things that i used to be and of course there are so many things every single day new things are coming out every single day we're exposed to new things that make us think that that's going to bring us the ultimate joy um and so it's really just having that awareness which is the beginning um and then regulating yourself in okay cool i want to watch movies that are really um like dark and scary and that really affect my mindset fine okay let me watch one of them a week and the rest of the days let me watch something that's a little bit more lighthearted. it's as simple as that it's like it doesn't even have to be oh my gosh let me take it take a spiritual step and just do lots of spiritual reading and listening and watch things that are just spiritual no like like if you're at that level, then bring yourself up here and then bring yourself up here and then bring yourself up here. You don't have to go from here to here straight away. So, um, yeah, I think it's just taking those little steps, um, taking that little step, little, um, dedication of regulation can make such deep changes in our life. I hope that helps. I hope that made some kind of sense. It was, um, really powerful to me. And, um, yeah, I hope it helps you guys in some way too. So, uh, sending you all so much love for this week. I hope you all have a really nourishing, reflective week ahead of you. And, um, yeah, have a great day.